Alright guys, so today we are going to be reacting to Controversy's album, or continuing to react to Controversy's album, um, Ricardo Bravo, which is a music, or which is an album that he made, which, um, so far, we've reacted to a couple of his tracks, and most of it is actually pretty, pretty decent. Um, we reacted to Ricardo Bravo, and his social comments, and That's what it's like. <laughs> uh, I was playing Ricardo Broken instead of what it's like. Alright, let's go. Alright, so he's letting the beat go. Let's see if Controversy actually makes some like actual hard heads. The pros and cons like of this individual. Bangers. Well, let me explain it to you. And yes, indeed, I'm that man. The one Ooh. who dreams of finding the special someone one day. But anyway, in my experience, it's cool to be single. You can put more time in what you like to do. And you ain't gotta worry about your girl calling like, where the fuck are you? Or her saying that you never have time for her anymore. Cause it's just you, her solo. You ain't even wasting a lot of money cause you ain't got a family. Ooh. I know that relationships can be stressing sometimes. Maybe you're the type of person that wants to unwind. You carry a busy life, I get it. Me and you really ain't thinking different. Maybe you ain't ready for that love shit. But even though there's some negatives in love, there's definitely some benefits. Just hear me out on this, trust me. It also ain't good being lonely. I know this from experience. For instance, if you feel stressed, you might want to express to your girl just how you feel. Conversation is quite powerful, good for your mental. And love is a beautiful it thing. It sounds like a post Malone type of vibe. You can have life. rings, chains, and watches, be super wealthy. But you'll never be truly happy since you're lonely. And all that money will never ease the pain if you ain't got that special someone to share it with. Now, I know you know this. I ain't really gotta say shit. But you decide if you want to be in a relationship, start a family, and have kids. They say people that are happier live longer. And I definitely don't want to be lonely the rest of my life. I want that amazing feeling of love, so beautiful like a dove. Excuse me for this cheesy statement. I want to get the crackers to go with it. And don't get it twisted. I'm a very happy person. It's just a matter of time until people like me <laughs> find the love of their lives. It's fading out, bro. I definitely heard that fading out. Okay, okay, that's pretty. Th oh, that's oh, that's pretty decent. Mm. All right, so now this is the house of pain. All right, so now come on. There we go. This is the house of pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. Let's get it. Ooh, was that? Ooh, that was like a good start. Ooh. I'm living in the house of pain. It's my brain and let me explain. I was five years old. This is based on a true story never told before. I was in a school bus. My head started hurting. I couldn't figure out the meaning. Maybe God was sending me a message, a warning of what was coming. The kids around me were wondering, asking questions. That's when I got home. My mom started talking. Ricardo, how was school? I didn't have a clue of what she said. I wanted her to be quiet because there was so much pain in my head. I started to get worried. I fell to the ground shaking. A seizure was occurring. My mom knew I was dying. She called the ambulance. The situation was tense. Her voice said, Hurry, my child needs medical attention. That's when doctors took over. I fell into a deep slumber. It's like I got run Damn. over by a Hummer. The house of pain. I love this concept of this song. Yeah, yeah. House of pain. The house of pain. Damn, this one's actually bigger. The 
next moment I found myself in a hospital bed Thank God I survived the near death experience No ruler can measure the Lord's greatness I already knew I had epilepsy, it wasn't surprising to me As a kid I was hit with big sticks in the head by these other kids They were the same age as me I thought I was going to leave this world early But believe me God is great, he saved my life 12 years ago And now that I'm getting older I ask myself Am I really getting wiser? Don't mean to be a preacher but Here's my message, it's better for you to hear it Than to let the grim reaper Ooh, take control of damn, your soul nice Always cherish the life that you've been given Don't ever be ignorant Try to help the people that truly need it Always be grateful for what you have Cause I feel like I have it, I've seen so much in my life I'm appreciated for having it, but God probably mm. sees it different If I was really appreciative of him saving me Then I wouldn't use my words like a knife And harm my mom and my dad with what I've said in the past Yeah, I know we've all been like this before But I'm confessing it to break the chains that have been chained in my heart for a long time Time. The house ooh, of pain. A, man, oh, I that's love right, it. Man. The fuck, 12 years ago, I was five years old and I had a seizure. After that, man, it went pitch black. And to be honest with you, I didn't know if I was gonna make it or not. Yeah. But then I woke up in the hospital. And here I am now. I've got a near death experience. Talking Bible. That's right. <laughs> so stay tuned. God that is part. great. But this shit's actually fucked because any near death experience is fucked. Controversy. Is a controversy. I'm out. <laughs> Alright, guys. So this is. Um, so this is. You guys are the producers and the reporters.